to be put through to the Nordboro uh, Copenhagen uh, A&O, please. One second, yes. Yeah. Thank you. Is that Martin? Yes. Ah, uh, the assistant manager. Yeah. Hi, Martin. This is Mr. Fraser. I believe you remember me. No, oh, hi. Yeah. Yeah, hi. Um, so I have a big problem uh, with A&O Copenhagen because, um, what's that noise in the background? Uh, just some workers here drilling in the wall. So do you do you remember when I was? You obviously remember me very well, right? Because I was yeah. attacked by that African guy. I ended up going to the police. I had my laptop busted, yeah. my yeah. phones, everything, right? You know the whole story. Yeah. My point is, is that after I left your hostel, um, I was uh, told by the central uh, I know uh, hostel that I would be fully compensated, which I wasn't. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, okay. The, the, the Danish police have a police report, and they are saying, do you, you know your security guard logged everything, right, about the, the African guy threatening yeah. to kill me and everything, right? I called them uh, yesterday and asked what is happening with my report, and they are saying that A&O Hostel Copenhagen Norbro is uh, obstructing the course of justice by not allowing access to the security port that the security guard wrote. So I'm now calling you to find out why uh, is A&O Hostel not allowing the Danish police access to the security report. Hmm. Well, that sounds strange because nobody asked, you know, as far as I know. Because the thing is, do you remember the... Right, because okay. the thing is, remember, the, obviously you're the assistant manager, right? But do you remember we had the conversation with the security yes, guard yes. and he said, I've documented everything, all the, all the things you had stolen, the fact you had to yeah. move room, the threats. I mean, you're well aware of my nightmare that I had in Copenhagen, yes. right? So he, he noted it all down and you are aware of that. <clears throat> my point is, it's now, I think it was five months ago I was last in your ANO hostel. Um, and I wanted, I contacted the Danish police, and the Danish police has said the police report has now been put on hold, if not closed, because ANO Norbro is point blank refusing to give access to the security port. 
Uh, my, my life was threatened in Copenhagen by that African guy that was in my room, and it's a crime. Even when I went to the central station in the train station, they said, this is a very serious crime. What I'm saying is, I called them, and they said, you are obstructing the fact of giving them access to that security port, and I really want to know why, because I didn't, as you know, Martin, like I said, I did nothing wrong in your hostel. All I was there for was peace and quiet for my legal case against SAP. Do you remember? Yeah. Right, so I really wanted peace and quiet. All I'm asking for is justice. I went to the, Co the, the Copenhagen police, and they said they can't do their job properly because you won't allow them access to the security company who has the, the report. Yeah, um, do, you, do you have this, the file number or something for me? So I can, I can call them and ask what's going on? Um, I can, I can, I have the, the, the Danish um, police report, I can forward yeah. you the police report, but my, my concern is, it's like five months later, and they're like, oh, we gave up because we couldn't access the security file, and I'm like, well, when I was in Copenhagen, Martin, the assistant manager, uh, knows I was attacked, knows everything was stolen. Yeah, nobody, nobody asked, or, you know. So the or was here or something. So the police and everything, you're telling me the police, the Danish police haven't been to ANO Nordbro? No. Okay, that's totally well. So I don't know what the hell's going on then because uh, what I can do is I can for because I, I mean I basically went down. Do you remember when I was actually walking the streets of Copenhagen and I was going to end up homeless because you contacted the CEO of ANO and he was like, I want you out that uh, ANO t today or tomorrow. Do you remember? Yeah. yeah, yeah, so you're the one that, that basically said that. I had to get on an immediate train out of Copenhagen and back to Germany. My point is, is regardless of all that happening, that security guard, um, I think he was from Poland or Ukraine or whatever, said, look, I logged absolutely everything. Who the guy was, who attacked you, the stuff that was stolen, the money that was stolen, everything. All the police have to do is access that report. So now that I have a little bit of time to myself, I contacted the Danish police and they're saying, we have no way to access that security report because Arno is blocking us doing that so what I can do is if you give me um, your email address again I can forward you the police report and if you can contact them to find out what's yeah. going on because I, I now I, I mean five months is a long time yeah but I, 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 I just can you know try to solve or find out what's going on right that's all I'm asking you to yeah. do I mean I'm not asking you to be the police officer all I'm asking you to do is why are the police saying one thing yeah. when all they have to and like I remember when I left there I spoke to security guard before I left and they said it's a crime it's a bad crime all the police have to do is look at my security report and they are now saying one thing and then after talking to you and you obviously instantly recognize me because of what I went through I mean I left the hostel for three days for safety um, I, I, I just want you to you guys to communicate to say look yes you can have access to the security report this is the guy who did it this is what happened and then the police can do their job yes so uh, what's so it's uh, what's your uh, email again please uh, yes my, my first name Martin so Martin yes yeah dot dot and then last name Marshner M-A-R M-A-R S-C-H S-C-H Yeah, N N E-R E-R So that's M-A-M-A-R S-C-H N-E-R, yes? Yes, and then at AOHostels.com Yes Okay, what I will do, Martin, is I will email that to you personally um, tonight And then, um, you, do you still have my email? Yes you still have my email. Yes, oh, well, you'll obviously I, I, have my email because I'll email it to you. Yes, yeah, sorry. Um, so once yes. I email it to you, if you can contact the police, say, look, there's no issues with you getting access to the security report, and then whatever they, uh, whatever happens, um, is it possible to reply to that email with the, 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 the report that I send you? Yeah, if you forward this, I can answer on the other okay, one. Okay, perfect, yeah. perfect, perfect. I will do that today. Yeah, this is good. So I can just, I try to find out why, why they say they can't do something and nobody was here or, you know, tried to contact us.
Yeah, because the thing is, it's funny because, like, I even emailed the CEO, like you said, and I was told I was going to get fully compensated. I didn't get fully compensated, and then the police are saying, oh, A&O is obstructing us. So it all yeah. seems a little bit bizarre, but I will do that. I will do that by 5 o'clock today, and then if you can let me know in the next couple of days by email what's going on, that would be great. Yeah, I try my best. All right, man. Thank you very much. Find out what's going on. Yeah. Okay, no all right. problem. Thanks, man. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye-bye. Gotcha.